We all know that China has set a goal of 70 chip self-sufficiency rate to achieve this goal it needs to continuously increase production capacity and place key chip manufacturing in localized production many enterprises in Shanghai will play an important role in promoting this goal according to recent news from Shanghai Shanghai companies have achieved breakthroughs in 90 nanometers lithography machines and 14 nanometers chip mass production the conditions for SNCs layout in the domestic Foundry market are basically stable what kind of strength does Shanghai have in China's domestic semiconductor industry chain what are the benefits of SMIC's focus on mature process development today let's talk about these topics first let's talk about Shanghai IC countries and regions have formulated long-term semiconductor development goals some of which should vigorously cultivate chip talents and some choose to build chip factories in Shanghai China there are basically many links in the Semiconductor industry chain from lithography machines to etching machines to complete ship manufacturing etc. and almost all corresponding Shanghai companies are involved. Shanghai is known as the Pearl of the Orient and is an important city where the world economy meets but in fact Shanghai has another reputation that is oriental corporate as the name implies Shanghai occupies a crucial position in the chip field and has top strength in China's semiconductor industry chain which can be verified. From the achievements of Shanghai Enterprises According to news from Shanghai Shanghai companies have achieved mass production of 14 nanometers chips breakthroughs in 90 nanometers lithography machines and breakthroughs in many semiconductor industries such as 5 nanometers etching machines and 5G chips in addition Shanghai gathers 1,000 key enterprises attracting 40% of China's domestic integrated circuit talents it can be seen that Shanghai is Indeed worthy of the reputation of Oriental corporate and many of China's top. Semiconductor industry achievements are related to Shanghai Enterprises take the 5 nanometers etching machine as an example anyone who knows it knows that it is Chemicon that masters the mass production level of 5 nanometers etching machine this company is the only manufacturer in China that can produce 5 nanometers etching machine in energy in the lithography process the etching machine needs to cooperate with. The lithography machine to perform chip engraving and complete complex etching steps along the exposed chip lines on the photoresist if the lithography machine is to planarize the chip circuit then the etching machine is three-dimensional only with the support of the etching machine the chip can achieve hierarchical distribution the principle of the etching machine is simple but it is difficult to do the five nanometers etching machine is at the top level in the world and has been successfully tackled by Memicon in addition the 90 nanometers China made lithography. Machine is manufactured by Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment Group Company Limited SME maybe someone compares a 90 nanometers lithography machine with a new lithography machine that supports 5 nanometers manufacturing it is undeniable that there is a distance but it is necessary to understand that domestically produced equipment is more meaningful than imported 90 nanometers also. Supports many types of chip manufacturing and 90 nanometers is not the end there is still a long way to go in. General Shanghai IC is in a state of steady progress companies such as Comic-Con and SME are involved in the supply chain of domestically produced chips in China giving Chinese domestically produced chips a driving force to keep moving forward SMIC is also a Shanghai semiconductor giant and the most technologically advanced chip maker in mainland China SMIC has said that it is optimistic about the development of mainland chip foundries and will not change its long-term plan there is a reason for SNCC's statement on the one hand 70% of SMIC's revenue comes from mainland China which is an important market source on the other hand the self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips continues to increase in this process the production capacity contributed by SMIC can drive more industries to localize if the industry has a good development trend it will be more beneficial for SMIC to obtain relevant technical support SMIC can achieve mass production of 14 nanometers chips but almost all of SMIC's current capacity layout is placed on the mature 28 nanometers process some people are curious why it is necessary to develop in the mature process of 28 nanometers and what are the benefits first of all 28 nanometers is the process with the widest coverage 5G chips artificial intelligence internet of things smart cars etc basically use 28 nanometers if 28 nanometers is placed in smartphone chip manufacturing it is obviously a low end process but in other new fields it is already a high end level 
After all these fields do not have much requirements for chip size and area it is possible to make the chip larger and it does not require too high-end technology where there is demand there is a market SMIC will grasp the demand and give full play to the value of production capacity and will surely be rewarded by the market secondly 28 nanometers is easier to increase production capacity which is helpful for completing the 70 chip self-sufficiency rate target SMIC is building 12 inch fabs in Shanghai Tianjin Beijing and Shenzhen to manufacture 28 nanometers chips if all these factories are completed SMIC's production capacity may be doubled because it is easier to increase production capacity it is undoubtedly more helpful to achieve the 70 chip self-sufficiency rate target with sufficient production capacity it can also promote the employment of talents and the implementation of technological achievements in addition a large number of semiconductor purchase orders will be generated in the process of increasing production attracting foreign suppliers to increase investment in the Chinese market and achieving a win-win situation of mutual benefit Chinese semiconductors perform their respective duties and related companies have made breakthroughs in their respective fields in China's domestic semiconductor industry Shanghai plays an important role Shanghai is known as the Oriental Corporate which brings together many top semiconductor companies and talents at present it has formed an integrated circuit scale of 250 billion yuan how hard is it to make a chip a chip seems to be only the size of a fingernail but from design to manufacturing to packaging it needs to go through dozens or hundreds of process steps just the photolithography process needs to use a photolithography machine an etching machine a photoresist material etc at the same time other countries and regions started early after investing countless scientific research efforts they successfully broke through the top of lithography machine technology which can expose tens of billions of transistors on the chip through the wavelength of 13.5 nanometers the 90 nanometers lithography machine corresponds to SME which is the only lithography machine manufacturer in China that can carry out complete machine equipment. It has a core market share in China's domestic mature craft market the 5 nanometers etching machine is led by Cummikan to break the ice in the global etching machine industry Memicon's strength has been in the forefront and even the 5 nanometers etching machine has entered the TSMC supply chain the mass production of 14 nanometers chips corresponds to SMIC as the largest and most technologically advanced chip manufacturer in mainland China it is not only actively expanding the production capacity of mature processes and improving the self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips but also ranks fifth in the world China's domestic CPU should refer to Jashin this domestic CPU company has a leading self-developed strength and has good performance in general purpose CPUs the 12-inch large silicon wafer and 5G chip are Zing Simi and Unisoc respectively these two domestic chip companies are also leader Xing has a lot of background it was founded by Zhang Rujing the founder of SMIC and undertakes the important task of breaking the situation of domestic large silicon wafers Unisoc is also regarded as the successor of Huawei High Silicon because Unisoc is currently the only manufacturer in China that can design 5G chips and ship them universally and their research and development capabilities have reached the 6 nanometers level in the chip supply market Unisec's share has increased rapidly and its products have entered the production lines of many mobile phone manufacturers the Above mentioned leading manufacturers have driven the development of Shanghai's semiconductor industry regardless of the fact that external suppliers have achieved breakthroughs in UV lithography machines while China is still at 90 nanometers but with the first step there will be a second step continue to move forward China will be able to accumulate a lot in addition the mass production of 14 nanometers chips mastered by SMIC is enough to meet the needs of most of the chip market looking at. Domestic semiconductors The development trend of integrated circuits represented by Shanghai is still unfolding in various places making the development of China's semiconductors show a trend of encirclement China not only has a huge chip consumer market but also has a layout covering almost all production links in the construction of an independent industrial chain the chip industry can be divided into three links design manufacture and packaging in terms of design many domestic manufacturers. 
In China can realize chip design of 7 nanometers and below and the EDA and chip architecture required for designing chips are also stepping up their layout for example Emporium can provide analog full process EDA tools at 28 nanometers and Lungsun has developed the long arch instruction set architecture in terms of manufacturing SME Comic-Con SMIC and other companies make up the Manufacturing in the field of hardware in the packaging process CR MicroMasters the complete packaging and Testing technology China imports a large number of chips every year because there is still a lot of room for improvement in independent production capacity with the continuous improvement of domestic chip production capacity most of China's domestic chips can be produced locally thank you for watching our video after watching the video how do you think about the development of chips in the world you can put your opinions and ideas in the comments below we will keep on uploading new videos so your subscribed and likes will encourage us to create new videos.